Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me on the third and final episode of making my new Weaver Ant colony an awesome new space. If you haven't seen part one or two yet, then go check that out before watching this. But I will give you a quick recap now. This is for my dream ant species, ants from the genus Polyrachus. These are actually lesser weaver ants, or false weaver ants, as they use anything to make their nests, not exclusively leaves like true weavers. In part one, we added the necessary hardware, which for this build is a frosted background, a heat mat and thermostat, and the light which is on a 10 hour timer cycle. I also added the drainage below in my custom substrate mix. Then the final thing we did was we played while with different orientations of hardscape until we ended up with something that we were pleased with. Then in part two, we finished it up with lots of plants before adding various botanicals and creating a gravel path through the center. In this video, I'll finally add the ants as well as feed them and observe their daily behaviours. Let's not delay any longer and let's get started right where we left off. I added the 3D part that they were nesting on into their new space with them all on it. Ants all over postured up to defend their space. They assume this position as this species don't have stingers. Instead, they have acidopores from which they can spray formic acid. Lone ants explored these new lands, adventuring over and under the leaf litter. Back at their nest, workers were frantically hiding the pupa that had been exposed back when I added them in. At this point, I realised that without intervention, they'd stay in their current nest for a very long time. So I took drastic measures, and with a pair of straight tweezers, I began to pull off segments of their nest until very little cover was left. During this, ants stood guard all around the scape, ready to give up their lives for the colony and queen. Speaking of the queen, there she was, much larger than all of her daughters. She wandered her way around the remains of their nest. After a few minutes, nearly all the workers had hidden themselves under the nest, with a few final ants bringing in the brood that had been left behind. At this point I could remove the 3D printed cover to again expose the colony. Some workers were still on the nest, so I brushed them off. Standing on the leaf was the colony on high alert. Again they hid under the leaf, so I removed that as well. Ants started all over the place, desperately trying to find a safe space for the colony. The queen hid to the side of the path with a solitary worker whilst the rest of the colony searched for a suitable spot. With this, I left the colony for a few hours to settle in and become comfortable with their new environment. They've been in here for a couple days now and I think they're hiding inside the wood on the left. However, there's still a couple of things I want to change. The main thing I'm going to add is a ceramic heater. They've been a bit sluggish and this should really help wake them up. Although, I'm not gonna recommend this just yet, as I've not used it before, but I'll link it in the description for those of you that are interested. Before I could attach it, I needed to prepare the terrarium. One of the calices was already struggling a bit, and the heat would probably finish it off, so I removed it for use in a future project. I also moved the air plant down into a crevice lower down to move it out of the direct heat. I'll be mounting the ceramic heater with a gooseneck clip-on lamp stand. It's not ideal, but for the time being I'll clip it directly to the light. When I find some time, I might make an arm that I can attach coming from behind. I screwed the bulb in. The stand itself also has a built-in dimmer switch, which will be perfect for adjusting the ambient temperature. It's time to feed them. I placed a chopped up superworm into their lands. A lone ant explored this offering. It began to nibble from one of the chunks. It ran back to the nest to tell the rest of the colony what it had found. But they didn't seem interested just yet. 
I guess they still need a little longer to acclimatise. I've no doubt that in a few days they'll be swarming their food once they've explored and become comfortable here. Well, it's finally all complete and I'm really happy with how it's turned out. I just love sitting here watching the ants go about their daily activities. They've dragged plenty of moss and other materials to block the entrance of their nest, although right now they've actually moved out of the wood and are nesting in a leaf behind the log. They're so active and I can't wait until they begin proper nest construction, so I'll make sure to update you guys when that finally happens. Anyway, that's all from me for this video and I'll see you all next week. So thank you so much for watching and please consider subscribing.